Hello gamers, welcome to the channel. Today, let's take a look at Monster Hunter Wilds. The open beta test 2 is not available yet. I, I tried to log in, uh, it's not time yet. Uh, but there is a new benchmark tool. Um, I did it on the PC, but now let's check it out on the Steam Deck, Steam OS. Okay, so let's boot it up. I think a lot of people's interested in this game, wondering if it works on the Steam Deck. Uh, last, when I tried it, when the open beta test 1 was uh, out, I tried it. Uh, wasn't too great. Wasn't too good. Um, let's see if it's uh, better with this benchmark tool. I wouldn't get my hopes up, but we'll see. I think I might need to compile some shaders. All right, yeah, it needs to compile shaders. So, yeah, I'll probably fast forward this part. Okay, so that took like half an hour. So, yeah, it took way longer than the PC. But anyway, let's get started. So, enable frame generation feature. No. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we got. All right, press any key, options, okay, display. So borderless window, 720p, I'm on the uh, Steam Deck. Okay, so graphic settings, lowest, yes, I'm gonna stick with the lowest. Okay, so we've got AMD FSR 3.13. Okay, I think we're going to turn on frame generation. For this benchmark ultra performance um i'm gonna go with performance because ultra performance uh is really bad the, the resolution because we're playing at 720p so it's really bad okay so everything is set to the lowest so uh, i've got another video on my pc where everything's set to the highest but on the steam deck i'm just gonna keep everything at the lowest and see how it performs so let's try it out let's try it out so if you want to know the benchmarks for the pc i've got a nvidia rtx 4070 ti super with um the 7500f amd ryzen 5 cpu i'll leave a link up here for that video Honestly, like, if it's this, it's not bad. But this is just the cutscene, so uh, I want to check out the the gameplay, the in-game. But this with frame generation on. Like the frame time's going a little bit crazy. There, there is a little bit of stuttering. And there's a ghosting. You can see there's a ghosting. But I mean, come on. The, the Steam Deck. <laughs> we're running this on the Steam Deck. But we're running a 2025 game on the Steam Deck. That's how many years old now? Yeah, you can see the ghosting with frame generation. It's, it's it's not the best. I think it's because of the like um, AMD FSR frame generation. Because when the open beta test came out, I, I tried to run it with the built-in AMD FSR frame generation. It also had a lot of ghosting. Like, but uh, on the PC when I used DLSS frame generation, it was it was way way like didn't have any of that. Uh, I'm not sure if that is going to get fixed. I might try the DLSS enabler mod. 
Okay, so this gameplay. This gameplay and and it kind of crashed. Oh yeah, it, it actually did crash my system. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can um add the DLSS enabler mod. See if that works. I'm not sure if it works. But we'll see. Oh, actually, I don't need to add the launch options myself. I think because this is a Steam game. Let me um, with my camera. The three dot button. I've got the Decky Frame Gen installed. Select the game. So let's just try Monster Hunter Wild's benchmark patch. Launch option set successfully. Okay. Let's see, let's see, did it? Yeah, it's already got the, the launch options. Let's see if it works. Let's see if this works. Move the camera back. So yeah, it crashed <laughs> when I tried to run the benchmark tool, even on the lowest settings, lowest. Well, I could go with ultra performance, but yeah. <laughs> It's pretty low. Everything's set to low except for the um, FSR. I set it to performance instead of ultra performance. Oh, okay. So with this, it, it kind of crashed the game with the mod. So I might have to look into that. Like if we're using a FSR 3 mod, maybe we need to look into that. Yeah, it, it's crashing with the mod on. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can uninstall the, the mod. And run it again. Okay, so unpatch. Okay, so now it's unpatched. Let's see if we can run the game again. So this video was supposed to be a Monster Hunter Wilds benchmark on Steam Deck. Now I'm demonstrating the how to install the DLSS frame gen mod and uninstalling it. Yeah, so with, without the mod, the game runs fine. So I gotta look into it, how, how to get the mod working for this game. Oh my god, we're going to do this again. <laughs> okay, this is way faster. Last time it took half an hour. This is way faster. Okay, English. English. Yes. Maybe I'll go with, like, ultra performance this time. Maybe this time it won't crash. Hopefully. So lowest, oh, this is already on ultra performance. All right. So everything at the lowest, at the lowest. So if you like videos like this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. And subscribe to the channel if you're new. We talk a lot about gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, Lenovo Legion Go, Nintendo Switch. Hopefully I'll get a Nintendo Switch 2 this year as well. Um, add it and we can make more content for the channel and we talk a lot about emulation mods cheats trainers stuff like that so if you like stuff like that make sure you subscribe okay you can definitely tell that the graphics looks like way way worse like because the resolution it's on ultra performance like we're already on 720p and then we're using ultra performance so that squeeze like it's, it's way low resolution um but yeah what can you do it's on the steam deck uh it would look better obviously on the steam deck screen but now it's blown up uh it's not looking too great it's kind of like potato mode like a d make the ps1 d makes you know 
Do you play of those games? Graphic settings lowest. 720p. Frame generation on. Yeah, you can still see the, the artifacting, the ghosting. Okay, last time we crashed when we went into the game, in-game. This was just the cutscene. Hopefully we don't crash this time. Yeah, this time looks good. Looks good. So we're getting average 40-ish frames. But yeah, the graphics just don't look too good. I'm definitely not playing on the Steam Deck. Um, yeah, I'll probably play most of the on my computer. You can't really even see those um, those fireflies. It was the resolution. And the shadows really look bad there, yeah. It's because the resolution. Yeah, I wouldn't consider this playable with the graphics like this. <laughs> That'd be really hard to play like this. Especially when you're online multiplayer, you know, a lot, a lot goes on on the screen when you're playing with four players. Hunting the monster, it's got to be hectic. So we're going back to the village. Gonna have a feast and then that's gonna be end of it. Welcome. 
Okay, let's see our score. Setting changes required. So, yeah, so it's not good. It's not, but we're already at the lower, so there's, there's nothing we can do about it. So yeah, definitely don't think it's playable on the Steam Deck, honestly. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll leave it here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.